really nice to be back home. It's really a perfect place for an F1 race. It's a city that's growing so much that it's only right you bring one of the biggest spectacles. It's special to be back in Miami for the first Grand Prix. It's my dream to race there one day. It's great here, it feels like home. Yeah, yeah it's the hometown race. It's hometown race. The Magic City hosts Formula One for the first time. It's home to some of the brightest junior drivers, including Logan Sargent, Juan Manuel Correa, and Enzo Fittipaldi, who has just scored his best F2 result in Imola. Time to see family. 77 to 99. You think they can catch up? Yeah. Oh, the, the game check. is. They lost this game. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it was a first away game. They're getting used to the stadium now. They're Can up I, two, two, one. Get up on okay. When me and my brother, we used to to live in Miami. We we're no, massive so the Heat fans, yeah, so and yeah. it's amazing that he likes the Heat as well. Like he's a massive fan, yeah. and he plays really good basketball. To so make it to to Formula One, you have to go through the ladder, and I did Formula Four in 2018. Uh, won the championship in Formula Four, then did Formula Three, uh, and then now Formula Two. Wait, it's like one step from Formula One. So obviously Formula one is the pinnacle it's like the top so that's the goal is to make it yeah. there one day so yeah and then you're gonna come watch i will but well, that means you have to come watch when i get drafted yeah when you get drafted in the nba i'm gonna come i'm gonna be i'm gonna be there I've been coming here since I was born. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously. And it's amazing. It's like, you know, I know them. They actually, you guys have been coming here and they strong. I remember when your mom used to bring you guys here. <laughs> all the time. And I know. all the time. Because <laughs> it's crazy. Time flies. Yeah. Even before the race, you know, you feel like something's a bit off. We are ready to go racing here in Saudi. It was just after my best result in Formula 2, my first points in Formula 2. I just focused on a good start. The feature race is underway for Formula 2. Robert Schwarzman's got a good launch, and there's a solar and poor chair and a big crash. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was very scary. You never know who was involved in the incident. And then I heard uh, Enzo's engineer, like, are you okay, are you okay? And I was like, crap, Enzo's involved. Enzo, are you okay? Enzo, Enzo. Until today, I just remember being in the pre-grid and then waking up in the ambulance. It was for the whole team, it was really bad. You already see that in the past, so you know what you can expect. So it was really stressful for the whole team. The biggest concern of the doctors was internal bleeding because I was vomiting a lot of blood. My right heel was smashed into many different little pieces. I had like really bad headache. I had some bleeding in, in my brain that when we did the scan, my brain had shifted already like eight millimeters from the center. So it was being squashed <laughs> to one side. And you think the worst has already happened after the crash and everything. And, and no, it wasn't the case. You never know what happens with brain hemorrhages and stuff, so that was very scary. And I remember when I had my crash, my uncle, my dad was there, and I remember how they took care of me and the things that I remember that helped me, and I tried doing the same for my brother. The skull, when you take a piece of bone like out like this, uh, it doesn't grow back. So they uh, basically have a metal plate here. So <laughs> It was, uh, was very difficult, and, but just having my uh, brother there by my side uh, was, was amazing. I'm thankful to be here today. We 
were signed with Chiruz in the beginning of February. Honestly, we still weren't sure if I was going to be ready, but we signed anyways. We were confident. That was less than two months after I did surgery on my foot. This weekend's gonna be extremely tricky. A lot of rain tomorrow. As you can see, the track's already wet. Yeah, I think tomorrow's gonna be quite uh, tricky. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Everybody just working on to get him fit because we don't wanna risk that injury it can affect the whole season. That break from Jeddah to Imola, I was able to recover, train more, and I came back a lot stronger. We've got Fidel Paoli trying to go through at Imola, and he gets past Ralph Boschong. Enzo Fidel Paoli, who claims he's maiden podium in the championship. Oh my God, I can't believe it, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, honestly. I know we have difficult times, but we keep working like this. We only go forward from here. Let's go! When I was standing on the podium, I was just thinking, like two, three months ago, I would have never thought this was happening. You know what I mean? It's like a dream come true because I thought I was going to be out for this season. And to come back and always in the top six, top seven, fighting for podiums is honestly amazing. The podium was good, but we take it as a number and keep on working on the following race. For Enzo, we are very happy as a team, how he's doing his approach. I'm pretty sure we will deliver another podiums and good results. So this is just the beginning. Let's go. You finished second in F2 no, back no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he's my brother. All right, all right. thank you. The real champ. Yeah. <laughs> cool. thank, thank you so you much. You Sorry to bother me. No well done. Thank you. You love to do that, don't you? I'm still buzzing from that race weekend. I started 15th. I had a really good start and then the whole race we were just moving forward, moving forward, making overtakes. But there was a safety car with like four laps to go and we had Pocher like two, three seconds ahead. And I think if it wasn't for the safety car, I think we could have had a good shot at the win. We were really fast. It was uh, very emotional, even for my father, he was there as well, because I think not only for us, I mean, we're racing, but for my parents, they sacrificed so much for us to race. Seeing some of that result, you know, come to be, so it's very important, and I'm sure there's going to be more good results. You want to talk about ups and downs in Formula 3? I had them. The moment's arrived for the American driver, Logan Sargent, for the first time in Formula 3, can call himself a winner. A superb performance to convert pole into victory. Woo! I thought we'd do it. Here we go. Around the outside as well now, hanging on to fifth place, Logan Sargent. That's the start he needed, but there's the contact. It's risky. And turn number one, and Sargent's off the road. Sargent has gone off for the first turn. And Logan Sargent is out of the race. He cannot now win the title. Well, Joe it was a really painful end of the year, to be honest. I was so quick all year. My qualifying performances were, in my eyes, extremely good. I was super happy with the way I was driving, and a crash in Mons and a crash in Mugello really just ended it for me. What is he doing? That one hurt a lot. Since last year, I feel like I've really progressed in that mentality of saying, I can't change it, I need to learn from it and move on. It almost used as fuel to go out next time and do even better. What was the last thing about Miami? <laughs> what was the about Miami? Probably the prices, right? Yeah, <laughs> be incredible to have an American and someone to really root for. I think it would just be huge for the sport. Logan's the guy. I mean, he's already got his foot in the door. He can't really get a much better guy. And he's from the area. It would, it would be a perfect hometown race. For this year, we had planned for him to grow steady into the season and then be a podium and win a contester at the end of the season. But it is clearly that Logan has, let's say, brought that goal a little bit forward. It was very clear that Logan has everything, has the package to become one day a Formula One driver. So with an American owner in the background and the sport massively growing in America, uh, for Williams it was a no-brainer to bring Logan into the academy. I definitely dream about putting the stars and stripes on the podium, but I'm definitely not bothered whether I'm the first or the second or the third. 
That is what it is. The more Americans in F1, the better, I think. The chance is alive to get to Formula One, and, and that's all I need. I just need a chance. That's all I can ask for. We are in Ocean Drive, an iconic place in Miami. It's really nice to be back home. It's really a perfect place for an F1 race because, first of all, it's very international. There's a strong Latin community here. The Latins love Formula One. And in general, it's a city that's growing so much that it's only right you bring one of the biggest spectacles. So I think the, the race is gonna be surprisingly good. In my motorsport journey, it started down in Homestead at the karting track. A lot of good drivers actually came from, from down here. So Logan, Devlin Di Francesco, Kyle Kirkwood, Oliver Askew, just to name a few. Actually, they all come from South Florida and they were racing with me already at this local level. So as you could imagine, for being local races, it was quite high level. So this is Wynwood. It's kind of like this very artsy, up and coming place. Lots of fun things to do, lots of restaurants. We have the Salty. It's my favorite coffee shop and the best donut in, in Miami and probably the world is sold here. I, I try not to come too often, you know, if you know what I mean. I, I need to be careful. I didn't have breakfast today just because I knew we were coming here. Oh my God. Mm. This year it was supposed to be my, my first proper year back fully as, as a race car driver. Obviously having an injury early in the season like I have, has been very, very frustrating. So now we're just trying to make the best out of it. At the same time, yes, I, I did enjoy very much being back. Especially this year, when you're competitive, you enjoy it a lot more. So, for example, Bahrain, I, I scored more points during the whole weekend in Bahrain than I did all of last year. And I definitely enjoyed that weekend more. <laughs> Since the end of last year, there's been a, a very clear build-up, you know, getting better and better. We ended Sochi uh, last year doing fifth in the qualifying, so I was like, okay, there's definitely some performance uh, coming. I feel like the last six months, every every car and team I've jumped in with, I've performed and uh, th that makes me happy and that gives me confidence. So also, like I said, Bahrain was, was okay. It's a shame uh, that it got caught in half right now with, with a fracture, but um, I do believe I can bounce back and end the championship on, on a high being one of the top contenders. stress fracture during the race in Bahrain. Yeah, yeah. So everything got a bit delayed. I had to miss the Imola round. The atmosphere, it's, it's buzzing. They've literally built a beach and you can watch the, the F1 cars passing by and you're in the pool, uh, relaxing, getting some good sun and just the Formula One cars passing by at like 330 kilometers an hour, which that's, that's pretty cool. It would be incredible to have an American driver. There's already gaining American interest in the sport, especially having the Grand Prix here in Miami. So having an American on the grid would be incredible. Pretty similar to like before a game or something like that, you know what I mean? Just the excitement building as we get closer and closer to the event. Just seeing all this coming to America and just being able to even be here is really exciting. I started racing 20 minutes from here. It feels like I'm back to the roots. It feels like I'm back home. But I'm trying my best to stay in the moment. You know, I need to stay focused on, on the job at hand. You know, we still have a, a long way to go in our Formula 2 season. You know, I need to just start getting more comfortable there and, and producing some very good results. And then, um, and then we'll see what the future holds.